good Monday morning. Sorry about the microwave, guys. It is about 10 past 10. I'm just waiting for mum to arrive because we are in tier four lockdown now in the southeast. So we are not going to get our nails done today. So over the weekend, I jumped on Amazon and I bought a litre bottle of Am Amazon acetone and I bought one of these which is a gel nail kit so mum's already soaked her nails off but I haven't because I didn't have the equipment here to do it over the weekend um, and I didn't feel well enough to go to mum and dad's and grab it so um, I'm gonna do mum's because mum wants me to do hers and then I shall or I shall soak mine off whatever however we're gonna work it out um, you get I think it's four or five colours in there I did look last night um, but we're gonna order some more today as well because it looks like we're gonna be in this lockdown through all throughout January and fe possibly February as well back like it was last year because there's this new strain which is particularly potent in the area that I live so um, yeah it's all fun and games not um, so I did all my wrapping at the weekend I am all bought for Christmas mum's got me my hamper to do their hamper um, and I am I'm done now what I haven't got nobody's having basically that's how it is at the moment um, so my mum, I've put my uncles in a bag for my mum because I'm not risking going to see him for my health and his health. I will give him a ring, I will speak to him Christmas Day. He obviously is going to be at home and sadly on his own because he, like, he prefers that anyway. doesn't really enjoy coming to us because of the autism. Um, he likes to do what he wants to do. Um, it's just the way it is, we're used to that. He, used to that so as long as he's got a dinner which my mum's obviously make sure that he's got shopping in and he is happy to cook himself a dinner he's going to have roast beef in the slow cooker um, then he's happy so um, yeah that's the plan for today mum's coming up and me and dad's staying at home so he can't stand the smell of this stuff so we're just going to do our nails um, and give basically yeah get our nails ready for christmas um so yeah it's a bit sad but to be honest i'm kind of used to it because we've been in lockdown most of this year so it's not really any difference to what um we was in last year i've just booked in these vets appointment because she's got to have her jabs whether i can get her in the basket or not it's a different matter so yeah, I haven't, I've edited this week's vlog, it, it was, it is pretty rushed, I, I will be honest, because I just didn't get time over the weekend, um, so, let me go out here because the telly's on, um, it is pretty rushed, um, but it's edited, um, and I will upload it to my phone, um, tonight, and it will go up tomorrow because, um, I can't, I didn't, I didn't get a chance over the weekend, I'm not going to make an excuse, I didn't, um, so it will get, it will go up over the weekend. Tomorrow I'm going to go and do my food shop, my Xmas food shop, I'm going to go to Aldi, um, because it's cheaper, um, I'm going to go and do that, and then the rest of the week, unless I need anything else, I will be staying in, because I don't want to be getting anything um, before Christmas and also I don't want to be going out spending money and all of that jazz so whatever I haven't got after the 23rd I'm not getting so that's the plan guys I hope you all had a wonderful weekend whatever you're up to I will show you now so I'm going to cut my false ones off I don't know if I made that clear because they're all coming away underneath and it was going to have a new set today anyway so the false ones are coming off being soaked off and then i shall just have the gels on my natural nails 
um, for a while, which probably could be a good thing to let my nails breathe a little bit. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Um, I am interested in doing an acrylic nail course anyway. Um, but, obviously, at the moment it's pretty difficult to do things like that with my health the way it is. So... I'm interested in doing a creative writing course and learning how to do nails as well. So, it's two things that I'm interested in doing. But anyway, I will let you know how it goes, what colours we choose. There's not much to choose from. There's only about four. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I'm, and I will catch up with you throughout the day. You guys, happy Monday. You can get through Monday. If you can get through Monday, you can get through anything. So happy Monday. Good afternoon guys. Oh, that was my drink on the door. <laughs> Hope you are all well. I'm just coming into the living room. So I spent all afternoon, it's half past four. Literally spent all afternoon de acrylic de acrylic nailing myself and gel now I've got gel nails on. I just went for black with glitter on the tips like I said to my mum it's not what I wanted for um Christmas nails I wanted false ones coffin shaped pale pink with stuff on but yeah we decided we spin they're not as good as what they do in the shop obviously because I'm not a nail technician but, yeah, my mum's, I did my mum's as well. So, yeah, they're not as good as what um, they would do when you have on for me dinner in the shop because I'm not a nail tech. Um, but, obviously, we're in tier four down here. Well, yeah, down here. Um, so... My oven always does that. But my mum's is just look at my cat. Are you okay there, darling? Are you sure you're quite chilled enough? Are you sure you're quite chilled out enough? On mummy's sofa. Are you chilled enough? Yeah. Um, so we obviously nail shops, hairdressers, beauticians, all of that kind of stuff. Is shut, Emmy's devastated about it. She can't make herself pretty for Christmas Day. Um, so all of that kind of stuff is shut down here. It was shut from Saturday night. Um, so I'm really annoyed that we didn't think about it and go on Saturday. Um, but... <sighs> I said to Mum when we thought about buying one of these gel machines last time but we ended up buying the press-ons which we still got loads of the press-ons um which we might still wear the press-ons sometimes and do gel other times as well but i said to my mum this time we might as well just buy a machine because it was like well mum bought it but it was like 25 quid for the machine and you get like a box of like six colours and you get f five or six colours and a matte top coat, a clear to, uh, like the normal top coat, base coat, the stuff you put on before the base coat, you get all of that with it and some nail art stuff, some diamonds and all of that stuff. I mean, can you really beat that? I mean, if you... And if money's ever tight and you can't really afford to go and get your nails done or this happens again god forbid in the future we've got it got it to do toes in the summer i said to mum it's just an investment isn't it it's just an investment thing um and we could be it's saying down here especially where the other mutation of the coronavirus has been that um we could be in tier four for up until easter 
so yeah we could end up being like this again so um yeah fun times aims but this time we're on our own so we've got to find things to do but my neighbor knocked on the door just after mum went that neighbor that lives right at the very end on glow her husband is in a wheelchair um and she knocked on the door and she said oh i heard you wasn't very well so i made some rocky road yesterday um and it was in like a little poly like a little cellophane with a ribbon around it not just four little tiny squares just enough and it was absolutely beautiful had it this afternoon with coffee and it was the best rocky road i've ever had so that was really nice of her um that was amazing of her to do that and she said you look so poorly <laughs> oh thanks um but yeah uh sleep the best again last night and then obviously mum came round this morning she bought me some milk and some lettuce and cu lettuce and um cucumber round and uh I did mum's nails this morning um and then obviously I had to take my soak my acrylics off which took which took about an hour and a half and then I did mine straight off so um but I am thinking about getting I've got to speak to my pain nurse tomorrow but I'm thinking about getting a vape pen um and vaping some CBD oil um for my pain um so if any of you have ever used CBD for pain, especially the oil, and vaped it, can you drop me a message or just comment down below so that I can get back to you? Because um, I'm not sure about how much the, to, the milligrams and all of that kind of stuff what to have. Um, but... I'm thinking because I've I've been told that it's the best way to get the the CBD in, and it doesn't affect your medication that way. Your other medication that you're taking, so it would probably be the best way for me to to do it and get the effect from it as well. And also, it it should help my sleep, my anxiety, my OCD. So I'm really hoping that it will be a good thing to do. So I'm going to check, I've got it in my basket, in, on, 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 uh, uh, look at this, has come all back, on my Amazon account, I've got the vape pen starter kit, some vape, non-nicotine, vape, fruity flavoured vape things, because it said just mix, mix a few drops in with your favourite vape, that you usually vape, um, well obviously I don't vape, so... Um, and then mix a few mix a few drops in with that, and then that's how you start off, and then add some more if you're not getting any effect or less in it if you are. So we'll see, but I'm hoping it will help with my pain and my sleep. So I'm supposed to, and the reviews that I've read, people have said that it's been very relaxing they felt relaxed with it they felt sleepy with it they felt chilled out which is everything i need to sleep because i feel like a coiled spring all the time like i need to be doing something all the time um and it's ridiculous and i don't sleep at night and all the rest of it so um yeah let me know if anyone's had any experience with it but i'm gonna go and put my dinner in the oven and i will speak to you later before bed evening guys um i'm having a bad night pain wise um which is kind of a good thing really because i speak to my my pain nurse tomorrow morning um so i'll speak to her about this um vaping and see if she thinks it's a good idea or a bad idea or whatever um, 
I don't know if you remember, but the lovely Emma sent me a M&S voucher for when I moved in to Betty. Um, and I bought a, is it, it's spelled N-E-O-M, Nyom, I'm going to say Nyom, Nyom. Um, I bought a candle. Now they do three different sizes. They do the travel, which is the size that I bought, which is a it's teeny tiny the one wick and the three wick now this candle is amazing it smells to die for now i got the scent tranquility it it smells my whole house out when i light it and that's just the, the travel size but the travel size is 16 pound the one wick is 32 and the three wick is 46 pound now, I normally would refuse to pay that much for a candle because you, you're getting nothing from it but a smell. Um, but after Christmas, if they've got any in the January sale, I am going to treat myself because I really have found that when I put that on and I start reading my Kindle, I just relax. I don't know if it's um, psychosomatic, I don't know what it is, but since I've had that candle and I've got about that much left that's burning at the moment, I've really noticed how much better I felt. I felt relaxed, I haven't slept better, but I've definitely felt more relaxed. So um I'm going to treat myself if they go down in price in the January sale. I know they sell them on Look Fantastic, um, but I am a, a big fan of them. So I'm going to have a look around, skirt around for them and see if I can get one in the January sales. But um, yeah, it's a piece of useless information for you there. But I just thought I'd come on and let you know that my plans for tomorrow are as follows. So I've got um, Leslie ring in at 9am roughly. So um, it's an early start for me. I'm going to put my alarm on for 7 because I would like to get up, get washed get or get breakfasted, get coffeeed, get washed, get dressed and get ready so that I can have her phone call and then once she's rung I am then ready to leave the house and to go and do my food shop this is all providing I feel up to it and providing I've had some sleep tonight if I haven't then I will do it on Wednesday, but I don't. The, I don't really want to leave it. At, well, I won't leave it till Christmas Eve. Definitely not. It will be done tomorrow, or Wednesday. Um, but um, I'm gonna go and do Aldi, which is probably the wrong idea. But I'm gonna go and do Aldi um, this week, and um. Like I say, I'll do it tomorrow. And then tomorrow afternoon between 1 and 6, I've got somebody coming to look at a drain pipe between me and next door because every time it rains, it's just flooding water down the wall. So that's not really... I don't have to come in the house or anything. But I'm going to put a note on the door because I do have a habit of coming early. Well... I'm going to put a note on the door saying if you arrive before one, oh, well, I'll be back by one. But if you arrive and I'm not here, I'm going to leave my mobile number on the door for them to call. Sorry, because I'm going to, I'm not in because I'm not going to be in. I'm going to be out doing my food shop. That's why I was wondering whether it's best maybe to leave it till Wednesday. But if the closer to Christmas it is, the busier it's going to be there. So if I do 
if I, if I have had some sleep and I'm feeling like I can get up at seven, then I'm going to, and I'm going to go and do my food shop after I've spoken to Leslie because I feel like if I can do it, it's best to just get it done and get it dusted and I don't need a lot. I've got like half a page of a list. So realistically, I mean, you always see the odd little bits, don't you, that, you know, meal wise for me, I always see little bits that I think, oh, that'd be nice. This would be nice. Um, but mum's done our food shop for Christmas dinner anyway, because they're going to bring all the stuff up Christmas Eve and do veg and stuff and put it in the utility room um, in pots and covered ready for Christmas dinner um, so I haven't had to worry about that all, all I've had to get is the Christmas pudding, is pudding wise um, so uh, I've got to do go and do that so I think I'm going to do that tomorrow um, but that's my plan and then Wednesday if I'm in I'm in then till after Christmas because sorry I've got itchy bit um, I have got a little bit of cleaning to get done and I want to have a bit of a rest guys because I feel very very exhausted tired and I want to have a bit of a rest before Christmas if I'm honest so I would like to have a day where I can have a bit of a, a read and a rest and just recharge my batteries before Christmas day so if I have sort of Wednesday in doing my cleaning then I can have Christmas Eve as a bit of a, a rest day or vice versa but vice versa so I'm going to go and do my cleaning tomorrow uh, cleaning go and do my food shop tomorrow so i'm going to put my arm off seven i'm going to be stoic and i'm going to get up and i'm going to do it and then i can get back i can get in my dramas and once i'm in i'm in um and i'm done then i'm done i haven't got in me anything this year and i feel terrible but she doesn't play with toys all she eats treat wise is sticks so which i've got for her I don't know, do I buy her toys which just sit in a toy box that she don't play with? It's really difficult. Do I buy her a bowl that she doesn't really need? I mean, I, I did have some nice bowls at Aldi, so I'll have a look tomorrow. If they've got one, I'll get her one um, and wrap it up. But it's it's that guilt, isn't it? Mum guilt. I've got mum guilt. That's all. But anyway, guys, I'm going to love you and leave you. Um... For tonight, I'm going to go and relax and read my book. And, yeah, I'll speak to you in the morning and let you know what Leslie says. And if she says, go ahead with the vaping, I'm going to order my vaping stuff. Let's see my basket. And then I'm going to go and do my food shop. So, I'll let you know how I get on. I don't really want to do it. My mum did offer, but I don't want to put on her. She's got enough to do. So, um... I'm a big girl now, a big girl responsibility. I'm gonna put them big girl pants on, as somebody that I watch would say, put them big girl pants on, go and do it. So, let's do it. I'll speak to you in the morning. Good mon Tuesday morning, guys. Oh my goodness me, what a rough night. I was up at 3am changing my bed because I'd had such a bad nightmare and I was so just dripping in sweat that my bed was soaked. So at least I've got a nice fresh bed now. Um, just got off the phone with the pain team. Nothing they could really do. Didn't think there was going to be. Um, they're going to try and up write to my GP and up my nighttime pre gabbling which hopefully will make me a bit sleepy. Um, she can't really tell me whether to go for the vape thing, so I've ordered it. Um, but the CBD 
oil isn't coming to after Christmas now, but sometimes they rush these things out, don't they? For delivery before Christmas to get everything done before Christmas, so it might be here before Christmas, haven't done it, say before Christmas. Um, but if it's not, it's not. But the pen and the other little vape liquids, because it says mix with a other little liquid, will be here tomorrow. Um, I was going to go and do my food shop today, but I'm going to leave it till tomorrow. I'm going to get up early and go tomorrow. Um, I don't feel particularly fabulous today, so I'm going to leave it and go tomorrow. So um, I'm just going to have a really chilled day. I'm just going to um, go and have a, a shower and a, a wash down. Um, and I'm going to... Um, Umi's biscuits and all of that jazz but I'm still going to be here but just over this way a little bit um, and I'm going to have a chill, a really chilled day um, because I feel really crap so I'm just going to run the hoover around um, but apart from that nothing really I'm going to read my book with a coffee on the sofa and just have a real rest day I think it's good for. I've been running around like a headless chicken getting everything sorted out and everything and it's just been a bit crazy so I'm going to go and get myself ready for the day. It's been my washing. Um, and sort that out but yeah I hope you all have a good Tuesday whatever you're up to um, I'm so tired literally so tired but I know if I go back to bed now I don't know if I'm going to go I don't know if, I, if I'll sleep to be honest that's the thing, I could try, I suppose, as I'm so tired now she's run. But it's just hard, isn't it, when you're so tired? I'm like, oh, I'm barely keeping my eyes open. I don't know, I'll see what I want to do. Anyway, I'll catch up with you later, guys, when I'm sorted out a little bit. Um, but happy Tuesday. Good afternoon guys, so I thought I would unbox my Poundland haul with you. So I placed an order with the online pound shop the other day and got delivered to my neighbour after one steak. But I went across the road and picked it up. He was going to send one of his boys over, he said, on the big houses. So the first thing I got is this window sign. It says it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. I'm gonna put this away for next year. Um, I'm just looking for cheap um, Christmas decorations at the moment that I can put away for next year. So that was the first thing. Let me get all of these bits out. Quite a lot. Um, the next item is some cotton wall pads. Mainly I use these for my wax burners, which I know is not very environmentally friendly, but I really can't stand popping the wax out. It makes me feel physically sick doing that because it gets all over my fingers most of the time. So most of the time I just use two of these and it's two of these and it's done. So that was that. Most of it is either cleaning related there's a bit of food um and that kind of stuff so the next thing i got was these after eight bites for christmas some goodies for christmas i got some of these gold bars i love these things and they are only 95 calories each they are significantly smaller which is why they're only 95 calories they're really tasty so i really like those as a little treat 
Um, talking of treats, I got one of these. I've been after one of these for ages. The crispy M and M's are my favourite, and I treated myself to a bar of their chocolate. Really shouldn't because I've put on weight and I really don't need to be eating any of this stuff. I've got some Oreo snowy embedded biscuits, embroiled even. Biscuits for over Christmas, I love Oreos. I got some brownie mix in case I make some brown want to make some brownies, especially now we're in another sort of lockdown this would be handy to have all you need is a medium egg 75 mils of vegetable oil eight by eight inch brownie tray water and an electric hand whisk well i haven't got an electric hand whisk but i've got a whisk so that let's put that out there then i got some christmas cards um which again are going to go away for next year you got two designs on there. You got believe in the magic of Christmas and Christmas wishes. So these, there's twelve, six of each, two designs. So that that won't be enough. But again, I'll just put those away for next year. I got another um, bathroom minky. I love my bathroom minky. I also have the kitchen minky. It is clean. It's just gone a bit funny but I haven't seen many as many of these ones around as I have of these ones but if I do I will get myself another one I love the kitchen and bathroom ones a lot more than I love the normal ones again this is clean it's just dyed with coffee <laughs> but I love the bathroom one a lot more um, then what do we have we have foil sticker gift tags i do have some of these at the moment um but i just liked these i thought they were unusual but funky and i like to do unusual things um and also these i picked up medium gift bags um for christmas again i don't need any gift bags this year but i will do probably for next year so on to the cleaning stuff so we have i bought these air pure incredibles in wash scent boosters these were a pound guys and i bought midnight glow let's see what they smell like oh oh they're lovely so i bought the midnight glow ones and i also bought the linen room Oh, they're really nice. Oh, I wish I'd have bought more of them. Up to 10 washes. Oh, I wish I'd have bought more of them because they smell, they're vegan, cruelty free. I wish I, they were a pound each. Now, I wish I'd have bought more of them because they smell, they are my find of the day because they smell amazing. Oh, I'll have to see if we go to a pound land anytime soon grab a few of those so we've got the midnight glow and the linen room i wish i'd have got like three of the midnight glow and three of those now um but anyway then i bought some uh power clean toilet bowl tabs by astonish i've never tried these and i thought i'd give them a go considering i put bleach tablets down my toilet every morning um and i thought i'd give these a go and see what these are like you only get 10 tablets in here though whereas you get like a whole packet of bleach tablets in tesco's so i'm um, see if i can tell the difference i don't think i'm going to be able to to be honest but we will see next is the um sort of cleany bits which they should have been included really so i've been looking everywhere for this ace for whites i want to dye my white crop tops i want to wash them in this see if i can get them any whiter and my bed sheets some of my bed sheets are white as well um see if i can get them any whiter so that's why i bought the ace for whites Next, I bought the exotic orchid 
um, astonished disin disinfectant. Oh, I think I'm going to like that. Let's have a sniff. I like this astonish disinfectant. The zesty lemon and the peach one is lovely. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, I like that. So, I like that. I love my disinfectant. I do my cloths every day in disinfectant. Next, I finally got my hands and the Flash All Purpose Sugar Plum Delight. Now, this is the same as the air freshener that I love. So, um, I'm really, really happy that I finally got one of these because I love the smell of the air freshener. So I'm really excited to give this a go in my kitchen. Next, I got what Mrs. Finch has been going on about. Spray wipe done. I chose the bright mandarin because um, they do an apple one as well, but I don't really like apple scented stuff. So I got the bright mandarin um, because uh, I, love apple, I love orange scented things. Um, so we're going to give this a go in because I like to just wipe my sides down. I wipe my sides down ten times a day plus in the kitchen. So this is going to be really, really handy for me. Um, and it says cuts grease, no streaks, hygienic. So give that a go. And then I've also bought the a lot of cleaning over lockdown. Um, Multi-purpose flash with bicarb. Um, this is supposed to be really good as well so we're gonna give this a go too and then that's it guys that was my um poundland haul so a lot of christmas stuff and a lot of um a lot of christmas bits and cleaning and a few foodie bits so yeah um that's about it not a lot but i'm really pleased with the cleaning bits really impressed with these so i can't wait i've just done my bed sheets i should have uh, waited now and done a i think you have to put a whole cap whole half a cap so they might last a little while so i'm really impressed with them but anyway i uh i'm just just finished washing up from lunch i didn't really eat my lunch my um stomach's playing up a little bit today so i'm gonna have coffee now um and put all this away and then i'm gonna read my book for a bit i'm waiting for the tumble dryer for my bed sheets to finish put all this christmas stuff and all that away um and then i'm gonna read my book for a bit uh feeling a little bit shit today i'm not gonna lie so I'm going to put all this cleaning stuff away um, and get a coffee and snuggle with my book. So yeah, I, uh, I will speak to you later. Good evening guys. So I uh, had a piece of toast for my tea about quarter to five because I didn't fancy tea tea. And a cup of tea and I thought oh god I'm really tired you know what's coming don't you so I'm gonna lay down and I'm gonna have a sleep because I'm I'm gonna just nap I'm gonna close my eyes for an hour um and that was about half five by the time I'd washed up folded up my bed in that I'd washed this morning wiped the sides down and stuff it's caught to eight Best sleep I've ever had though. <laughs> but I haven't taken my tablets. Like my evening routine has gone boom. But mum's but Immy woke me up because she was hungry. So it was otherwise I'd still be there. Like I'd be there all night. So good job she woke me up. Um so I've just uploaded the vlog to my phone, which I did before I laid down ended the world um i'm gonna upload it to youtube tonight while i'm asleep um so i forgot completely forgot yesterday guys but you'll you, it'll be up when you see this but i'll put a note on instagram that i'm gonna upload it tonight um so it's it's when you're watching this christmas will have already happened but 
right now it is three days well no christmas is on friday and it's tuesday so it's two days before christmas basically so we've in theory we've got two shopping days left until christmas we've got wednesday and thursday so i'm gonna get mum me and mum because um all the lorries are queuing at dover and all of so oh god all the supermarkets like oh we've got plenty of food and everything and it's been a bit of a hit and miss kind of thing apparently according to my mum's friend she went to tesco's last night and there was no food on the shelves but she goes stupid o'clock like nine o'clock at night just two days before christmas and expects the shelves to be like heaving with food no darling no it's not gonna happen um so I'm going to get up tomorrow morning at 7 and I'm going to have a wash, have breakfast, have a wash, leave all the washing up, leave my cleaning my bathroom like I normally do and I'm going to get dressed, do my hair, get dressed and I'm going to go to Asda. I was going to go to Aldi but I'm not going to risk Aldi, I'm going to go to Asda and do my, I can't means I'm not going to have any of my favourite cheese, I'm going to go to Asda and do my um, shop um because as there is a bigger supermarket than Aldi um and it, it means I can get everything that I want at Aldi at Asda rather than Aldi um and they open at six but I'm not going to get there at six that's stupid um so I'm going to get there at when I'm ready basically but I'm going to get there as early as I can I don't need a lot anyway I don't need like a full turkey and all that because mum's sorted that out plus we're having lamb shanks there's only three of us we don't eat a full-on turkey roast dinner anyway because me and mum have had the the surgery so we don't eat great deals anyway um so yeah I don't need a great deal of, of shopping, so that's my plan. I've only got about half a page full of what I would normally buy anyway, plus the little extras that you pick up when you go around anyway. So, yeah, that's my plan for tomorrow. My plan for now is I'm going to go and have some crackers because I'm hungry, and I'm going watch, to finish watching The Alienist that I started um, on Netflix, and then... Yeah, my night will continue, but it's been a bit of a, an unusual night tonight. Unusual day, really. Um, read my book and that kind of thing. Um, so, yeah, good job. But, I, I mean, if, even if I don't go to bed till 11, 12 o'clock tonight, I, I, I've had a good sleep. And that's all that matters at the moment is I sleep when I can. So, um, yeah. I'm still tired, so I could probably still go to bed and sleep for another five hours. So, um, yeah. So, happy Tuesday. Well done for getting through Tuesday. I will see you in the morning, but it will not be until I am home from shopping. Everything is, you know, and I'm done. Um, so, I will see you then. And, yeah, happy Tuesday, guys, I still couldn't remember what day is, and I just said it, Chloe. Well done for getting through Tuesday. Good Wednesday morning, guys. Happy Wednesday. How are you all? I overslept. <laughs> My alarm didn't go off, guys. I set it and everything, and it didn't fucking go off. So I'm really annoyed. But um, Mum rang me at... 20 past eight so i got up then and i just had a lick of flick and promise as you can see and i just went out the door so um i decided to go to asda in the end because i knew tesco's was going to be ramoed but asda was really quiet i spoke to this lady in the disabled parking bays and i said to her is it busy in there she was like no it's dead um and i got there about 10 past nine and it was starting to get a little bit more busy as i left but they were really, really organised as stuff. Given their due, they've been very, very organised. Oh, friend, let me see it away from the beginning. Um, and yeah, so I'm just going to show you a couple of little bits that I picked up clothes-wise. 
um and then i'm gonna go oh hello talking to my boobs sorry um i'll show you a couple of little bits picked up clothes wise and then i'm gonna go and jump in the shower i've mended my nail because i got in the car and that had popped off like half of it had popped off i think it's just because my nails are very brittle where i've had acrylics on for so long so i'm going to spin you around and show you what i picked up non clothes wise um and then i'm going to jump in the shower and then i'm going to quickly hoover or i might hoover first and jump in the shower and then i'll be done for the day pretty much because i'm pretty much done already so yeah um but it was getting busy as i was leaving but they had mum said that um, morrison's didn't have turkeys didn't have any veg asda was fully stocked with everything so absolutely fully stocked right so i'm going to turn you around right let's go so i picked up some new pajamas um i picked up um 2022 and these were two for 12 pound and i picked up both pairs because um these looked really flurry and comfortable and exactly what i've been after for ages so i picked up both pairs of those then i picked up this top and i thought this would go with them because um it's got the pink it's pink with blue stars and these are blue with pink stars so that would go then i picked up these oh god tracky bottoms in extra extra large just because i wanted them to be quite big and baggy um they've got cuff around the bottom they're a bit dirty because i think they've been dropped on the floor so i shall give them a wash before i wear them um and then i picked up a coconut crush scented candle for in here i wanted something berry -y and wintery but they didn't have anything like that so i went for the coconut crush so the rest of it was food related for christmas and stuff so yeah i've got some bread for the birds um i'm gonna give them a wash them tracksuit bottoms um bread for the birds and stuff so i'm gonna go and have a nice shower and then put on my new pjs because they look very comfy um because then i'm pretty much done for the day um after i've showered i will clean the bathroom and then i'm done for the day so i will catch up with you a bit later once i've done all my jobs and i'm done because my back's starting to hurt now i haven't taken my painkillers nothing so i'm all out of my routine so i'm gonna go and get some water take some painkillers um and i'm gonna hoover up this little bit of mess that's in my room because i hoovered yesterday and the hallway needs a bit of a hoover um sorry move the camera look how tired i look look um and then i am gonna go and have a nice shower and wash this mullet that i've got going on because it's itchy and horrible and needs a wash so i will catch up with you a bit later guys happy wednesday two sleeps to go two sleeps to go i don't think anyone's ex particularly excited about christmas this year to be honest <laughs> not as excited as you normally get you know but two sleeps to go guys do ignore the hair i haven't straightened it yet i have been on the go <laughs> literally i have been on the go since half past eight this morning and it is five to four. I am absolutely fucking exhausted. I took the lunch, my lunch stuff, which I hardly ate anything again, out into the kitchen to wash it up. And I ended up cleaning the whole kitchen. And not cleaning, well, yeah, I did clean it. And not that's more sorting out. This bralette thing does my head in. Um, like I've sorted out of my pantry. So as you want me to show you, don't you? Not right now. I just need to sit for a minute. I ended. I had to repair one of my nails because I damaged that doing shopping. Um, I bought the ultimate thing that said suggests it's Christmas. Are you ready? They've gone up so much. I remember when they were like pound. The TV magazine.
it's, it's Christmas now. Officially Christmas. This time last year I was desperate to come home. I was still so ill but I was so desperate to come home. I was so desperate. I was like, pretend to be well, Chloe. Pretend to be well. I was forgetting that my bloods and things like that are going to, like, out me. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm fine. No, you're not, are you? Yeah, I'm fine. No, you're really not. So, I was desperate to go home. But it wasn't to be, but I'm home this year, so that's what matters. In my very own home. Um, so, yeah, I'm good. Oh, oh dear, I see, tired. I'm going to go and straighten my hair, I think. Can't be bothered, but I need to do it. Um, and straighten my hair, and then it'll be time to get some dinner, and then... It'd be time to chill out, which would be great. <laughs> um, tomorrow, oh, the pyjama bottoms fit, but the top don't. I'm going to take the top back. I didn't think the top would fit, to be fair. Um, so I've just got my sheen bralette thing on and my, just my dad's old t-shirt. But the bottoms are exactly what I was want what I wanted. I'm so glad I picked up two pairs. So glad. Um like super glad. Oh, I wanna go sleep now. But I'm not gonna and I'm not gonna have a nap after dinner either. Even though that made no difference to my sleep last night, I still went to bed at like eleven o'clock last night still passed out i did sleep better actually for having that nap than when i don't have a nap which is weird i thought that would absolutely throw me off last night and i'd be up all night long from for sleeping from about half five quarter to six until half seven but no instead it helped me if anything and I was still tired when I woke up, like I could have slept more. <sighs> I think I might have to have a lap again after dinner. <laughs> but put an alarm on this time. Right, I'm going to stop talking to you guys, no offence. And I'm going to go and straighten my hair. <laughs> because this will not buy the baby a new hat. Even though the baby doesn't need a new hat. Because she has plenty. <sighs> I'm gonna turn the telly off in here because it's Dad's Army and I do not want to watch Dad's Army. <sighs> Take me drink. I'll go and show you my kitchen. Ow. Ooh. Ow. Ooh. Ow. Ooh. Killed me plant that my mum's friend made me. I've changed had a change around. Because I haven't got much space in my kitchen, as you know, it's very, very small. Um, and I just changed where I've put things. Because I was having to reach over, my kettle and that was in the corner. And I used that more than I used my coffee machine. So I've put, even though I use my coffee machine every day, because coffee is life. Put that in the corner. And I've just, I've put my cough, uh, my sugar canister in there pantry because I, I don't have sugar and nobody that I know comes that comes to my house frequently at the moment or that's going to be able to come to my house within the next three months looks like has sugar so that's in the pantry um the biscuit barrel's in the cupboard now so I'm going to show you that lot then I'll show you the pantry so yeah we've got my coffee machine knife block coffee pods then I've just got coffee and tea out and my kettle and my sweeteners and my little... I got this from B&M. I just put tea bags on it when I have a cup of tea. A little bit glam, it says. Um, obviously, you can read. Um, <laughs> and then I just tidied up my cupboard. Um, 
biscuits up there and then there's a few bits of food up there but most of my food is in my pantry and then there's my crackers in there but most of my crackers are over there cups in this cupboard and then i've just still got my hot water bottle kettle my hoover charging um i just wash my water bottle out and my penises that need new um kitchen mail holder and cup um, and then this cupboard up here just has cereals, uh, bum powder, as me and my dad call it, <laughs> um, mince pies that I bought today and shortbread that I bought today that I haven't eaten so far, toaster, hot water bottle, butter, because I don't have butter very often, I have flour, and, but my mum can't stand flour and I don't like flour on toast, Tupperware. This cupboard I hate is the cupboard of doom. Um, we all have one frying pans. I know you can't see very well. Um, um, there we've put the light on. Might be better if I stand back here. So yeah, we've got like sieves, bowls, um, colanders, cheese grater, Tupperware, frying pans, ju plastic jugs that I use every day, little little casserole dishes and things like that. Tupperware, my mum, that's that cupboard. Um, and then my big, lovely cupboard. I've sort of sorted it all out. At the top, we have my cleaning products. So we have my box basket of Sephora's Astonish disinfectants, my black sacks and bin powder. I love this stuff. It stops your bin smelling. You know that bin juice smell? This is amazing. Citrus fresh. And I got this in pound stretcher and it was like 99p. That I, I would not spend 3 99 on the bin buddy one. But it keeps bin fresh. Deodorises indoor and outdoor bins. Obviously I don't waste it by putting it in my wheelie bin. Because that's just stupid. Um, but. It is really good. And there is. I need some more. Um, then I, behind that is my water filters. Um, then I've got black mould which i'm going to need in my oh hello my utility room soon um and then just like all my backups of like cleaning products like um my spray one done my flash bicarb that i've bought to try and um, my astonish a little bottle that i bought some my dr beckman carpet cleaner my febreze Stuff I don't use very often, so flash with bleach. I don't use bleach very often in my house. I find it very harsh and it discolours all the cloths and stuff that you use. I only use it if um, there's been like a spillage of something um, sanitary or that kind of stuff. Um, floor cleaners um, for mops and things like that. The pink stuff. A M&S Sparky berry cleaner I bought that was limited edition and then I've got like my food cupboard like my snack basket um biscuits crisps Christmas pudding but we have the chocolate one because now none of us like Christmas pudding my backup of my crackers these are life by the way garlic crackers are amazing my vitas some posh crackers I bought for Christmas my bread basket which is mainly wraps because I don't really eat a lot of bread my oxynorm basket I've got a first aid one up there then we come down here to sugar corn flour coffee pods baking stuff um, hot chocolate powders more hot chocolate and filter coffee where's Pally? my little um cafetiere then i've got like my coleman's mixes salt and pepper uh tomato puree mug shots more crisps i don't like crisps hula hoops um and then like 
kidney beans, sweet corn beans and sweet corn hoops and all that kind of stuff. Chopping boards, oil, chocolates for Christmas, kitchen roll, more chocolates for Christmas. Waters, because I drink a lot of them, some J2A for Christmas, some slow cooker, some juice, my saucepans, a spider catcher, very handy if you live on your own and do not like spiders, it works amazing, could not be without it. My ad hoc basket, which has got light bulbs, batteries, um, command strips, my hoover attachments, so yeah. That's my shit store, guys, and it is literally full of crap. Um, so I'm going to go and straighten my hair. Oh, I feel really sick all of a sudden. Probably because I really have not stopped all day. And I've hardly eaten anything all day either. That's probably why. But yeah, I'm happy with it now. I feel like I've got more room because like for Sunday, uh, Sunday, Friday for Christmas Day, my dad's going to need, say my dad, <laughs> <laughs> me and my dad are going to need room to the kitchen roll out, prepare um, Christmas dinner and you know what I mean, like things like that. I mean things can be moved. But I tend to have a bit of a freak out over things like that. That's my OCD. Like My dad goes, oh, we'll just put the hot wall bottle kettle in the utility room because we're not going to need it, which I can guarantee he will say that. I'll go, no. Because that's where it lives. That's its home. You can't move it because that's its home. That's my OCD because that's where it lives. Unless I physically want to move it myself like for the purposes of having a change round you can't just move it that's that no you can't you can't do that that wasn't part of the plan anyway i'm gonna go so um i get really freaked out by things like that weird isn't it weird so right let's go and straighten my hair i can stop eating it and I will speak to you later. Evening, guys. How are you all? Um. So. I. Uh, my vape arrived this evening. But the CBD hasn't arrived. And will hopefully arrive tomorrow. Excuse me. Um, but I've just finished my book you can't see but it says acknowledgements and they've just finished it it's the rosie goodwin one day of the week series and i'm on the sixth one so i've got just the seventh one um ready to go on my book and i've got a new one ready to go on my book but i'm gonna take a break and i'm gonna read the elaine everest the christmas um with the tea shop girls so I'm going to read that one because that seems quite appropriate reading a Christmas book and it's Christmas um, but this one has been so good and I have truly remembered why I absolutely one love sagas and two love Rosie Goodwin um, I managed to get um, well I suggested that Emma try rosie goodwin and she said that and she has and she's fell in love with her books and now reads them regularly so if you are looking for a good book and you want something that's very light-hearted that will take you on a journey that's very up and down um it's very nostalgic um that truly has got all the the trials and tribulations of life that is mostly set um, pre-war or first or second world war then you need to check out Rosie Goodwin um, I've got one of my very first videos was about Rosie Goodwin um, 
I will leave, if I remember, I will leave some of my suggestions of books of hers in the description box for you. Um, but I will give you five now. Whispers, Moonlight and Ashes, Yesterday's Shadows. Um, Rosie Goodwin, Rosie Goodwin. The Days of the Week series and the Dilly series. The Dilly... Um, Dilly Sacrifice and all of those, like the, the it's a three parts a trilogy. Dilly's the Dilly series, absolutely brilliant. If you haven't read those, I highly recommend that you do. Um, Whispers is a ghost story and it is brilliant. Um, yeah, she can just turn her hand to anything and she is absolutely amazing. And I love her as an author, so um. I'm feeling a bit tired. <laughs> um, I've been on the go all day, so I'm going to go make another hot water bottle. I don't think I'm going to start that new book tonight because um, I'm very, very tired. Um, so I'm going to get comfy in bed and watch something on the telly. Um, and I'm going to have a lazy day tomorrow. So I will definitely, definitely make sure that I make some time tomorrow afternoon to have a couple of hours with my book. Um, I may even have an hour in the morning in bed with my breakfast, with my coffee and just treat myself as it's Christmas Eve, treat yourself and just have, you know, a little bit of time. So this is where I'm going to end this segment for today and I will see you tomorrow for Christmas Eve and I will be vlogging on Christmas Day. So, you know, you know, um, this could be a long, I straightened my hair today and I really love the way the fringe has gone, um, but it's going to, it's going to be quite challenging to, I was supposed to be having it all coloured in January, don't think that's going to happen now, do you? No, um, I may have to chuck a box colour on it because I was going to get it coloured a different colour anyway so I may go um, after Christmas um, to Tesco or Asda and buy a box colour and just put one of those on it for the time being um, yeah see how we feel when the time comes but I love how this bit has gone like it's gone like a bit of an arch like a cowlick almost and I really like that the way it's gone i love this style i really do but i don't like the way she's cut it like it feels really heavy and bulky here and not like the way that i wanted it almost but i can sort of make it make it work um until my hairdresser can come and sort me out um but i do really love it so i'm glad that it's quite funky and fresh and just feels a little bit different you know you can kind of wear it you could pull that back and wear it in a big quiff um you can kind of tuck it you could twist all this up and have it you know so you can do lots of different things with it which is what I liked about it but um it's just fresh you know I wanted something a little bit fresh and different but anyway I will love you and leave you and I'll speak to you in the morning for christmas eve good morning guys happy christmas eve see the hair didn't last <laughs> i hope you are all well i have somebody on my lap right now we just spoke to nanny on the phone and she was up here asking face and everything um i had a relatively okay night um, but I'm going to have a really slow morning because I'm very tired after yesterday. So I'm just going to have an hour or so with my book. Um, made a coffee, going to have a go ahead bar and going to start my new book. So that's the plan for us this morning, eh baby? Yeah. Yeah. I'll show you. Yeah, that's the plan for us this morning, isn't it, eh? Yeah. 
Did you speak to Nana? Did ya? So yeah, we're just gonna chill. Oh, till she sees a pigeon. He's come for his drink out of the um gutter in. Bless him. We get a bird bath in the summer. And a bird table. And he's just having drinks. He's just having a drink, bless him. He comes every morning for his drink. It's okay. So, um, happy Christmas Eve. I hope you all have a wonderful one. I'm just planning on having a chilled one. Um, as I did most of my housework and everything yesterday. Um, and, uh, yeah, we did pretty much everything yesterday, really. Um, so, I, uh, just need to run the hoover around. Because I do that every day. And, um, do my bathroom clean after I have a wash and all the rest of it. And kitchen wash up after I eventually move my ass out of bed but apart from that not much because I feel a bit rough and I want to feel as well as I can for tomorrow so yeah restful day today is calling me and I want to get into my new book and just uh yeah feel cosy and Christmassy and might watch a Christmas film later. I haven't watched any yet. Um, I might see if there's any on the telly later that I can watch. Um, I'm sure there is. Um, but yeah, we'll see. See if there's anything on the telly I want to watch tonight. Um, but yeah, I taped uh, Channel 5 last night, had a wartime Christmas. Um, and I taped that, so I'm really excited to watch that. And it comes in two parts, so really excited to watch that because I love things like that. So, yeah. Happy Christmas, guys. I suppose it's Christmas already, really, isn't it? Happy Christmas. Guys, so I ordered some prints from the lovely So Graphic Design on Instagram. Pop her hand on screen. I've ordered prints before. She was the one that made my beautiful books, Cat's Coffee, for me that I have got in my living room. So I jumped on her website. Um, well, I messaged her on Instagram first and I ordered some custom prints. I had three in mind that I wanted and she has done an amazing job of those so I will show you those and then I jumped on her website just to have a little browse see which one she had on there we did didn't we we did we did um, I jumped on her website just to have a little look at the ones that she sells that she's already made and just see if any took my fancy because it was it was Black Friday and she had a massive Black Friday sale. So I'm going to spin you round now and show you the ones that I bought from her website and also the ones that I bought um, that I designed, that I, I want to say I designed, but I had in mind that she designed for me. Also, my CBD has arrived, so I'm going to start this today. I'm going to start very, very slowly with just two drops in my vape. Um, I'm in a lot of pain today, so it's really handy that it's arrived. Um, so I'm going to just start, like the blog said, just start very slow um, and build yourself up. And if you don't get any effect from it, then... Um, then you can start up again um, I'm hoping it's going to relax me a little bit as well because last night I was very anxious um, and hoping that that's going to help with that as well so I got the 2000 milligram and hopefully that will be enough if not I can always go up next time I need to purchase some um, so yeah, we're going to give this a bash in a bit and see what I get out of that. So I'm just going to have a couple of sips of my coffee. Madam is in my windowsill in the kitchen. She's never done that before. Windows open though. Sorry. 
I can see her, so it's alright. What are you doing? What are you doing? Did ya? What are you doing? Yeah, watch the cactus. You did? All right. Did you prick your bum? I've got real cactus on there. <laughs> right. So, I'll get the TV mag out of the way. So, let's show you. I'll show you. They've, I've opened them because I've showed on Instagram first because that's where um, she, I got the handle, the handle from. So, that's where her handle is, basically. So, these are the two that I chose from her website. Um, so, I'm going to spin you around and I'll show you. So, this is her business card. Um, so, there you can see it's so graphic design so she's obviously a graphic designer um so there's her details if you want to get in touch with her she's got facebook she's got instagram she's got website um if you want to screenshot that and get in touch she is very reasonable i paid 24 pound for all of these so um very very well 24 pound for the custom ones and then i paid extra for these ones so yeah very reasonable um and then she's given me um a discount code so this is the one i picked off of her website well i picked two a glowing woman can help other women glow and still be lit so i really liked this i'm all about helping other people out and i'm all about still being amazing myself and i know that sounds really um big-headed but you know we have to appreciate our talents ourselves so i think you know i thought that was amazing that's going to go in my bedroom and i just really liked the message behind that i might put it in the hallway um i don't know yet i don't know if it's a bedroom print or a hallway print i'm not so sure and then i got this one for the living room let's get cozy and i got it in blue obviously because i'm blue so um yeah i got let's get cozy so um love that so those are those two and then these are the ones that i asked her to make that i had in mind from ages ago when i was still living with mum and dad so we've got my family also has paws because it makes a big massive as you know part of my life she's in a litter tray <laughs> um and you know i i want her to f her people to know that i appreciate her and that she is part of my family so that's why i wanted the word family in it and paws and it was the simplest way i could put it and I, I said to her, I want little paw prints on it. And uh, I just loved, I love it. I love the different font. Um, yeah, absolutely golden. That's going to go in the hallway. So that is for my hallway. So that's that one. The next one, this is for my kitchen. If you don't like pink, get out the kitchen. Because pink is a very heavy feature in my kitchen. <laughs> So, yeah, that's sort of like a play on if you can't stand the heat, get out the kitchen kind of situation. Um, so that's that. And then this is one, the last one for the hallway. Yes. Welcome to Chloe and Immy's home. So this is something that I've wanted done for a long time. Love the wreath. Love the just simple black. Um because I don't know what colour I'm going to do the whole way yet. And yeah, um, at first she put welcome to mummy and Immy's home. But I asked her to change it to Chloe. Um, and yeah, she changed that very, very easily. No problems at all. 
and yeah dead happy so if you're after any custom prints or anything the paper is such good quality thick card paper and i can't wait to frame these and get them up in my home so yeah dead excited guys so if you're after anything um any prints or she does logos she does um what does she do let me have a look on this little if you're after anything um she offers a variety of bespoke design services including logo branding invitation stationery home decor prints and much more please contact us for any inquiries so um there you go if you're after any of the following or if you're after any wedding favors or invitations or um stationery branded stationery then she's your girl so yeah i'll put her handle on screen again and if you're excuse me if you're in the market for anything or you want to have a little look on her website head over um, I'm not paid, she hasn't paid me to do this, not sponsored or anything. I just absolutely love her work. So it's just an appreciation post. So yeah, thank you so much, honey. So guys, it's half past three. Um, vaping is going really well. Um, I slept for two hours this afternoon after starting this half an hour. I don't know if that's a placebo effect. I don't know, but my pain has not been as bad today either. It was bad this morning. It's not too bad at the moment. Um, so, yeah. I've got just normal strawberry. And then the strawberry CBD in here. And this was 20 quid, this vape pen from Amazon. Um... And it's absolutely fine. The reviews were brilliant on it. So, brilliant. And, um, yeah, that's the brand if you want to search it. So, I just wanted to show you what I've done for my dad. So, I remember you... Do you remember, I remember you. Do you remember me saying I was going to do them a hamper for Christmas? with all different um, bits and pieces in um, because I didn't know what else to get them. Um, obviously, it's not the only thing I've got them. I've got them other things as well. Um, but I've just done it and I'm really proud of it. So I just wanted to show you. So I'm going to... Ta-da! So we've got shortbread in it. My dad loves these. I don't know what these are called. Lichens whatever a hand poured candle chutneys we've got cake we've got preserves for my mum loves jam we've got crackers so yeah I think they're gonna love it oh bollocks I didn't put the mince pies in there oh well I can just give them that and there's a card and oh, no hymns you aren't done there and there's a card in there with £20 in for them to get some cheese, some nice cheese. So it's all butter shortbread. So yeah, I'm... it was difficult to do one hand, like just one person, not going to lie. And it's made a terrible mess. So I'm not going to lie, that's annoyed me as well. So I'm going to just hoover. Um, and then I'm going to put my jacket potato in the oven. And then I'm going to fold the washing that I still haven't done. I've been a bit lazy today. I've just watched St. Louis, meet me in St. Louis. That was my nan's favourite film. We used to watch it together. So that to me is quite nostalgic because I, I love that film. So I've just watched three quarters of it. So... Yeah, that was quite nice to watch that. Um, it's quite a nice film. It's always on at Christmas, isn't it? So, um, and Birds of a Feather's on tonight. I've recorded it um, because normally at nine o'clock I'm reading. So um, I've recorded that to watch during the day. 
So, oh, I've got money. Let me go and get my hoover. Tidy up. Still got me washing. Sort out. The oven's on for me jacket spud. I've just uh, asked Google how to um, do a jacket potato with really, really crispy skin. Um, because my jacket potatoes, or the way my mum and dad do them, hang on, there we go, are alright, but they're not as crispy as they could be. So I've just, oh, I didn't get the attachment. So I've just Googled it and uh, it said to brush with oil. Well, I normally do water, that's probably why. Um, and put in the oven, do it higher, then turn the oven right down. So that's what I'm gonna try. They've sent me a link to my phone, I'm gonna have a look in a minute. Um, so I'm gonna try that. And we shall see. And I've, I bought some nice sausages at Asda. Yes, I'm not a fan of sausages. But they were um, Red Leicester and Spring Onion. And I thought they sounded quite nice. So I'm going to give them a go. Um, and I'm just going to have beans with it. And a little tiny bit of cheese on the jacket potato. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to give, give that a go. Jacket potatoes are not my favourite thing to have. I could have mash, do mash with it, sausage and mash, but I don't want gravy because we're going to have gravy tomorrow, so I think I'll have jacket potato, I don't eat much of it anyway, um, could be the best jacket potato I've ever had, we'll see, so I hope you're all having a good Christmas Eve, um, I don't really have any traditions, we don't really do Christmas Eve boxes and things like that, um, if I had a family with children, I probably would, but I haven't, so I don't. Um, I just tend to, and it's my first one in my in my home, so I'm a bit like if I was at home, we would have traditions. Do you know what I mean? Like if we was at home, we'd normally be pottering around, getting the dinner ready, and getting the dinner ready for tomorrow, and things like that. Whereas because I'm here, mum and dad are going to bring everything with them. I haven't really got anything, a tradition. Um, it's made me feel a bit lonely, to be honest. It's made me feel like this is what it's going to be like, when, sadly, when mum and dad go. Um, and I'm on my own. I'm going to have to create my own Christmas traditions on <laughs> Not that I'm saying I'm always going to be on my own, because I might not. I might meet somebody and, you know, might end up with family, but... Um, makes you feel a bit sad. Good evening, guys. Um, happy evening. <laughs> Evening, Christmas Eve evening. Um, so I took my gel off and I've put some little falsies on because it was starting to peel off. I think where our nails are so weak from wearing falsies for so long. Um, but I have ordered some more of those Kiss white tip ones because these are from Tesco's. But they're so thin. These, This one is a different pack. That I got on Amazon, but they're so thin. Um, but they'll do even if they just do for the morning, just do for tomorrow, um, and then come off Boxing Day. That's fine. I'm happy with that. Um, I need to get some different gel polishes. I think that's the key as well, and a good top coat. Um, so I did that. Had some dinner. Jacket potato absolutely no difference sorry i'm in agony so i'm just gonna jacket potato absolutely no difference with the oil i think i put a bit too much oil on it um but it wasn't crispier than using water um so i don't know i might try it again with a little bit less oil see how I go um what's the time so it is 
now oh god i'll keep doing that too don't i'm so the wind is terrible out there tonight so um i'm just gonna sausages were nice though and um, they were asda's extra special i think they are asda aren't they extra special the posh ones um spring onion and red leicester and they were nice um i've got four more in the freezer so i might do like sausage and mash or sausage pasta bake or something that might be nice one night i've got um a tomato -y sauce in the cupboard so i might do that one night got some mushrooms to use up as well so that might be a good meal got onion and garlic in the freezer so i could do that one night got garlic bread boom um take the skin off the sausages do them into like little balls pasta bake um what was i gonna say i've had two puffs of that and i already feel that working highly recommend this guys for one day if you suffer from chronic pain or anxiety you need to try this honestly or sleep problems um so i am gonna finish watching this episode of master chef and I watched that Wurzel Gummidge thing tonight. It was really good. Um, that was good as well. If you got iPlayer, I suggest you catch up. That's the word I'm looking for on that. Um, I watched it last year in hospital. And that was really good last year's one as well. Um, so I'm going to read my book after I've watched um, this. I've started a new book. Um... It is the tea shop Christmas with the tea shop girls by Elaine Everest. I like Elaine Everest. So I'm gonna do that. Might treat myself to a bit of ice cream and and I'm gonna vape some of this, get some of that into my system and I am gonna Go to bed. I still haven't folded that washing. But it's, it's Christmas. I'm allowed to not be bothered about washing for the next three days. For Christmas Eve, Christmas Day and Boxing Day. I'm allowed to not put any washing on. And I'm allowed to not be bothered about washing, aren't I, guys? Yes. I'm allowed to not be bothered. So, um... My mum's presents from Sheen come this afternoon, so I wrapped them up for my dad. And my I ordered the same lounge suit as her, so um, I've got to try that on in the morning. It should fit. Um, so, yeah, I'm so excited about tomorrow not being in hospital and just be allowed to have Christmas dinner. We've got lamb shanks, um, which are beautiful, so in like a lamb gravy um lamb and mint gravy um and we've got pigs in blankets um and i've got stuff in here so i might get my dad to do some stuffing balls gravy yorkshire puddings roast potatoes oh i can't wait and we've got like a melt in the middle christmas pudding chocolate christmas pudding Custard, chocolate custard, my mum found. Lovely. Presents. I know I've got an Alexa. Because I use Amazon Music now. I know I've got a Google. But um, I'm really excited to have, because my mum's going to have my Google um, to have in her bedroom or in her living room, because she's already got a Google. But... Um, I use my telly if I'm in here to listen to the radio. But, um, yeah, they've bought me the new edition Alexa Echo Dot, the small one. So I'm really excited to have a play with that and see if I can get it working a bit better than what I've got my Google working. Uh, so, yeah, exciting times. But 
what else have I got? I know I've got a lounge seat from yours, a leopard print one that I wanted, a pair of boots that I wanted. They're like um, Ugg boots, but they're not Uggs from yours. They're grey and they've got the bows at the back. Really pretty. What else have I got? I know about quite a lot of my presents this year. But I'm just so grateful to be in my own home within me. And well, a little bit weller than what I was last year. So, all good. So, I'm going to go. Merry Christmas Eve. I hope you're having a great one with your family. Um, and I will try and get this edited probably Boxing Day. And I'll try and get it up as soon as I possibly can. So, you can see our shenanigans. But, yeah, happy Christmas Eve, guys. Merry Christmas! everyone merry christmas everyone happy christmas don't go on x factor next year where we are yeah i've got me audition paperwork oh, in the bedroom fuck me. <laughs> oh, jesus christ give her we'll all need earplugs yep i've got me audition paperwork daddy's cooking dinner get him in the well, kitchen if you want anything edible <laughs> not that bad thank you i'll survive a couple of sausages and jacket potato yeah but what i had last food. night it's edible Lucy's yeah food. Um, so we are, mum and dad are here, say hi mummy. Hi mummy, Merry Christmas. Yimmy's under the bed. She won't come Hiding. Um, not even for a stick. Not even for a stick, no, she's just... It's the minute we go out that I don't door, know what, Yeah, I don't know what, what's going Straight on. Straight on her cushion. I don't know what, what the deal is with this. No, nor do I. But, the um, only thing I can think of is she thinks I'm going to grab her and take her back home. Yeah, that's what I think. She thinks she's going to go in the box. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. usually I'm the naughty one that grabs her. Yeah. It's your fault. Um, she, give her time. She'll, she'll her come time. round. You might have to ring the vets for some advice. She, she's going January the 7th. Oh, right, For okay. her jabs. I've booked oh, it exactly. online. Oh, she love you. Yeah, I know. She's going to love me. But it's not good me coming up to help you. No, I know. Because she'll be under the bed. You I know. get her out gonna have to work out a way but anyway merry christmas guys i hope you all have a fabulous christmas after what can be described as a very shit year for some well for all of us but you know i hope you make the best of the day and i hope you all have a wonderful time with your nearest and dearest if you can spend time with your nearest and dearest um we was lucky that we formed a bubble when Right yeah, here, when when I moved in here, I was like, we was lucky that we formed a bubble, um, and I was close enough to spend the day with mum and dad. Um, my friend, my friend's husband's really ill with COVID. Yeah, he's I mean, got he's COVID. Really, Ill, um, really, really poorly. I know someone on Instagram. She's got COVID. Her kids have got COVID for Christmas. So there is a lot of people. Yeah, but some people the, do have it mild, but he's got it quite bad. Got quite he's got quite bad, yeah. Him. So God knows what's like. What's it's gonna really really difficult. It's been a tough year, but I hope you all have a great day. Um, we have we've opened one present. I got an Echo Dot from Mummy and Daddy. They liked their hamper, guys. They liked their hamper. I didn't open it fully. No, they here, haven't have opened it. Because, because got but it was. It they looked through the cellophane, but they liked the hamper, so hamper was weird. Did you little paws hold it together for you so you could Oh, you both. should have seen me yesterday. <laughs> oh, I had, to, I had the sellotape between my legs, trying to get the sellotape like that and holding it round it's like. It's so difficult trying to do that with just oh, one when person. Oh, and on your own. It took me and you last time oh, we did it for yeah. somebody, didn't it, together? But we got there and it looked pretty, so. That's all that yeah, matters, sweetheart, it and it's the thought that counts, Exactly, darling. and so. it looked pretty. And it's a very so. thoughtful pound. We'd be so. stuffed with cheese and crackers, crackers for the whole yeah. year. Um, oh, I do like a cheese and cracker at 8 o'clock in a mm, cup of tea. Yum, 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 <gasps> Biggest yum, yum. mug of tea, sweet tea with sweet. sweeteners in it. Oh, oh, oh. It lasts my diabetes right through the night till we porridge the next morning. <laughs> But we, we are having roast lamb, aren't we, for Christmas yeah, Day? With a jus. With a jus. With we've a got jus. jus. Already done. It's got a nice shoe. <laughs> yeah, we bought it in the packet. But it's lovely. Oh, it's, the lamb shanks, they are gorgeous, aren't they? They're lovely. Chef's busy out there wrecking my kitchen. He's in my cupboard uh, at the don't moment. Think he's wrecking it, love. The cook wears shit. I know, I need to get some new saucepans. Um, 
but yes merry christmas guys happy christmas i hope you get lots of presents from santa and you have a wonderful day i'm sure you'll do a blog on yours later yes i will do i'll show you all what i got later and call the midwives on tonight i'm yes. so excited we can watch call the midwife guys yay guys it's only half past four mum and dad have not long gone you're in the cupboard by the way hope you're resting on a packet of crackers so hopefully you'll stay there i got some beautiful presents from mum and dad they spoil me every year but the one present that made me laugh so i don't know if it was the cbd because i had been puffing <laughs> that made me laugh was this cup my mum got me she filled it with chocolates it was from Emmy. mummy elf <laughs> I don't know why it made, me, it made me cry. I don't know why. I think it's just because it's got the word mummy on it. And, oh, it's adorable. You probably, if you follow Mrs Hinch, you've probably seen it on her page that they do. Mummy, Daddy and Baby Elf. I love it. It's so adorable. And she put little chocolates inside it, which are in my chocolate thing. I'm going to have my coffee in that in the morning. How adorable is that? for my baby i was like you... from under the bed she's been under the bed all day she hasn't been out once hiding from my mum dad i'm gonna google it in a minute um as to why she hides i think it feels she might be threatened what yeah i'm talking about you come and see her come and see her mummy's in the kitchen you me you me um because she comes out when I'm obviously when I'm here. I don't, my mum thinks it's she thinks that they're gonna take her back to my mum and dad's house and she doesn't want to go. I think that she feels a bit threatened. Who knows why? But she she just hides under the bed, she doesn't eat, she just hides under there. So but she's um She's come out now, but I've got some lovely presents. I've got some beautiful boots. And mum and dad some other boots. Not real Uggs, but I wouldn't let them spend that amount of money on Ugg boots. Waste of money. Um, but they're very much like Ugg boots. They're from yours. I've got a beautiful planner from Emma. You're naughty, Emma, spending that much money. Caff mm. Kidson, you're naughty girl. Um, what else did I get? My mum goes back and got Alexa. Alexa dot. I uh, won't be able to say that anymore, will I? Because she'll be going Moo Boolu. That's from tomorrow when I set her up. Um, my mug. I got some beautiful cat coasters from my coffee table from Emmy. Um, um, what else did I get? I can't remember. My mind goes blank, you know. Oh, what else did I get? Every year. Every year, my mind goes blank. Um, a suit from my mum and dad, like a lounge suit, which I will wear out because it's leopard print. Oh, I got this. Da da. Love a bit of leopard print. My um, lounge suit's very much like this, but it's like grey and white leopard print. It's beautiful. Um, yeah, I've got some lovely bits, really nice bits. Um, my mum and dad went a bit mad. Um, but yeah, I am very, 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 very happy. Um, I'm in a lot of pain. My CBD is just charging. Hopefully it's finished because the light's gone white. Hopefully it's finished because I need it. <laughs> um, it's working, guys. It's really, really working. Um, and I'm going to go and get in bed. I know it's only half four, but I need to make a hot water bottle. And I need to go and get in bed. Take some bomb powder. Have some water ready. Um... Yeah, we had a lovely dinner. Um, it was a really nice day. Just really nice after last year of being in hospital. It was just really nice to be home and be in my own home. So, yeah. Um, but I will catch up with you a bit later, guys. I'm going to break out this new hot water bottle. <laughs> um, my mummy will mug. Um, I'm trying to think what else I got. You know when you just automatically... What else did I get? My dad is a cheeky git, right? You know those storybooks for kids, right? Like, um, 
Charlotte Santa needs your help like you know what I mean like a, a night before Christmas book he bought me one because it had Chloe on it it's cheeky he thinks he's funny he's not funny but he is funny and my dad <laughs> my mum bought my dad a wallet and my dad he has a habit of feeling his presence like I bought him screws and he shook them and he was like screws <laughs> like you and he shook, he feel, felt this wallet. And my dad went to my mum, it's a wallet. And my mum went, it might not be, like that. And my dad went, no, tell you what would be nice. And my mum went, what? Like that. And my, mom, my dad went, a wallet with some money in it. <laughs> we was absolutely wetting ourselves. Absolutely wetting ourselves. I really let myself go today. I'm really proud of myself. I don't know if it was the CBD. <laughs> But I just laughed. My kitchen was a riot. My living room's a riot. And it was just... And I've just tidied up everywhere. And I was like, and? Mum and I opened this. I went, ooh. I said to my mum, where'd you get that? She went, the chemist. I went, that's a bit racy for the chemist. <laughs> she went, I know. <laughs> that's what I thought. Our chemist is quite... <laughs> well, that's a bit racy for the chemist, isn't it? I needed a new one because mine's gone a bit manky. Um, but yeah, mummy elf. I've got mummy elf mug. So anyway, I'll let you go and I'll speak to you later before I go to bed. Bye, everybody. Hi, guys. I just got to editing this week's vlog and I realised that there was no ending. So um, I just thought I'd jump on and record an ending with you. Um, I hope you all had a lovely Christmas, whatever you whatever your plans were and whatever you got round to doing um they were spent with whoever you could and i hope the um you were healthy and happy and i hope you got some nice gifts as well which is always a bonus isn't it um and i hope you're happy with spending the time between christmas and new year doing whatever you can um i'm just at home pottering about doing what I can um I am um just chilling out today um I've done my bed and walked about um walked about just done my bed had a shower and sorted myself out a little bit um put some washing on and all that kind of stuff so um yeah, I'm just chilling out now. My back's killing me and I'm in a lot of pain. Um, so I'm just going to... I've just been using my vape. I've just took five of Oxynom to see if that's going to help. Um, and if it doesn't, then um, I'm going to vape some more. <laughs> um, it's just a bad day today. I've just done the recycling and all of that. Um, so, uh, yeah. So I will see you bright and square little monday morning for another weekly vlog i hope you all have a lovely weekend whatever you got up to and i will see you bright and early on monday bye guys